Hey Mimos, where you been? <laughs> I was at uh, Woodworking in America last week, that's why I didn't have a mere minute, and I'll talk more about that in a second. First, I got a couple of shout outs I wanna give to Blake Haskins sent me a letter, actual letter letter while I was gone. He's 12 years old, he's from Jackson, Mississippi, but he, he said that he, he got into watching my videos. He, I guess he binge watched them. He watched over 100 of them at a time. <laughs> he probably, he's gonna need treatment for that. But anyways, he said he, he got into them and then he started building things and so he started building birdhouses. Let me wait for the car to go by. It was a truck, a loud truck. <laughs> So he started building birdhouses and he now sells them. So that's pretty cool. 12 year old entrepreneur, way to go Blake. Oh, and a couple of weeks ago, I got something from Alex Davies, a teenager in England who sent me these two DVDs of the original Doctor series. And I I admit, I have not seen the original Doctor series. I saw a little of them back in the like 80s and I guess some they were probably shot in the 70s, but never really got into the series because I just didn't, and so I'm gonna watch these. This will be fun. These are the, the one of the old doctors here, and here I don't I don't know their names. So thanks a bunch, Alex. That was really cool. Do you guys enjoy the small parts cabinet? It seems like I got a lot of good feedback on it. It's heavy. MDF is really heavy, but this is also an example of a job that I think that really MDF is perfect for because if you used solid wood <clears throat> solid wood on it, you'd have problems with these drawers possibly expanding and contracting and getting stuck in there because they fit pretty snug. There's not a lot of room for that. And if you used plywood, I think you would run into problems with the edges of the plywood. You know, whereas MDF I think is just a good choice for something like this. And I want to thank all of you for your support for the promotional bit I did for Little Bits. <laughs> Little Bits is really cool. I don't think I've ever been quite that fascinated in a product in an entire system. Um, just that whole idea of it's just open source hardware so that you could build things by buying the components already made. You don't have to do any soldering and do all that piddly stuff. You can just start to experiment by putting things together. Really loud birds. You hear that? Anyways, I like the concept of the open source. It was kind of it would be kind of like woodworking if I had to build a table saw every time I wanted to, you know, cut a board. You know, I got the tools and then I can just put stuff together. The only time the birds are noisy is when I turn the camera on. <laughs> okay, I'm back. That was a pretty seamless cut, wasn't it? <laughs> I've been trying to shoot this right now for like the last hour. I've been, every time I would start to shoot something, something would come up, I'd have to go away and deal with that, or it was just getting really loud. There, this is a very loud Saturday here. My neighbor's working on something. I think he's building a, a gazebo or something, so well, good for him for building, but bad for me shooting because there's a lot of banging and grinding going on, but I think I can live with that. I want to talk, a, you hear the grinding? I don't know if you can hear it on there or not. <laughs> Uh, I want to talk a little bit about woodworking in America, uh, which was last week. I won't spend a lot of time on it because most of you couldn't go there, so this would just bore you to tears. The good thing about woodworking in America is meeting everybody, and that was really it was spectacular, actually, to meet so many people who were fans of the show and came up and shook hands, took pictures with me, and it's a nice experience because I, sometimes I feel as though I'm really insulated just woodworking alone in my garage and talking to a camera and I don't get to meet any of you so that was just such a great experience and the the mega Mimo meetup on Saturday night a lot of you didn't even go to the conference you just came for that so that was really cool and there was a lot of people up on the rooftop of that of that bar and grill it was a really cool venue the weather held out really nicely for us when we didn't get rained on that was really great so thank you all for coming and I hope I can meet you all again sometime. As for the conference itself, well, it's it's really narrowly focused on high-end woodworking and hand tool woodworking. There's a lot of planes there. <laughs> and when I say a lot of planes, I mean a lot of planes. So, you know, if you are a tool collector, I think that would be kind of fun to, to see all of that stuff. Um, and again, they had some classes. The classes were also geared towards really high-end woodworking. For the average garage woodworker, there's really not that much there for you. Uh, you could just go to the the shopping area, the store, I guess it is. You can pay to, to shop, I guess. And it's, uh, I think it's like $10, so that, I guess that's fairly reasonable. And you get to talk to the 
tool companies. So will I go next year? Maybe, I'm not really sure. If it's closer, I might go, and mainly I will go just to meet you again. I definitely won't get the whole package deal, because there just wasn't enough there that I could relate to you. I'm still looking at my TARDIS. I still, you know, I built the TARDIS, and I never really planned of where I'm going to store this thing, so I don't know. It's still up against my... I need to make a shed for to store the TARDIS. And you know, I could, I could make the shed look like a TARDIS, so I could keep it in there. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a video next Friday. I'm gonna be out of town from Tuesday through Friday. If I can shoot something quickly this weekend, I have a, a small project in mind, and if that works out, I'll have a video on Friday. So uh, until then, have a great week, everybody, and I'll talk to you later.